I moved to Yerevan to transfer my music instrument store, which I had in Moscow and St. Petersburg. So here in Yerevan, uh, I thought that I could start from the scratch. And when I was looking for a space, just by chance, this space came across to me as the second in a row. And it hinted to me what I should do here. And with new experience and new skills, without overthinking much, we decided just to start. So what was the reason you moved here? Well, reason is very well known, and as I said in one of my interviews, anyone with common sense will never ask this question. The reason is war. At first we took a small room, opened a bar, then realized that we still had a huge backyard, but it was cluttered with garbage. We cleared it out, brought in sand, set up hammocks, and made a massive sandbox in the center of Yerevan. The whole team grew right in the process. We didn't have any announcements, just guests and friends asking how they can help. And on such a volunteer basis, we formed a team. And I can't express the level of gratitude I have for the work they're doing. At first it was a foolish name like yard or backyard, then something to do with immigrant community, because many people moved here, but it hangs a stigma. There is no goal to create a Russian place in Armenia, we have a goal to create a multicultural place where everyone feels comfortable. And so we at some point were repairing one of our benches, made of tombstone. And when we started looking to purchase more, we found this ad saying, selling Toothstone, size so-and-so. And then we realized we should call this place Tooth Bar. This organically fits into the ecosystem and is as closely connected with Armenian culture as possible. The name chose itself. I'm generally bad with marketing, just want to create a place where I feel comfortable and where others feel comfortable too. That's why there is no format, this is just a place, we are not trying to say anything 
or to show someone like here we are for freedom or like here we are for art it's just us we do something feel good sometimes wrong and that's good too Actually, we started the first evening concert in April, and now it's a daily event. There have been rock concerts, metal concerts, pop concerts, R&B uh, exhibitions, tattoo artist exhibitions, children events, theater performances, large concerts for 300, 400 people, and small local ones like like jam sessions and such. My name is Aik, I am 100% Armenian, but I am a citizen of Russia, yeah, I don't know how that happened. I am a beatbox champion of Armenia, and this is Flow Guards, especially for you. My name is Shay the The talent show was suggested by one of our guests. I was like, why not? I respond to all suggestions so far in the format of yes, why not? Let's do it and see if everyone likes it. And if so, let's do it regularly. <laughs> You just wanna push it, build up on my park Baby, if you just push that for the purity work You just wanna... And so the talent show surprisingly captivated the entire audience. It attracted more locals than any other event we are doing. mouth probably is the best marketing here. At first 10 people showed up and 20 came to watch, then 20 came, 40 came to watch. Now the requests have to be carried over to the next days. Tuesdays are filled to the maximum capacity. And of course there is no restrictions and everyone does whatever he or she wants. <laughs> Mama, взгляни же, взгляни. They are so cold, all over my arms. I don't wanna know that they don't fuck with my love. I told her she knows, taking a reload. I got involved with Tooth Bar during their open market event. I remember how interesting it was. I ran away from work in the Satan restaurant. I came to the market and I was like, oh, how interesting. 
do you guys have coffee? They were like, no, we don't have coffee here. And I offered them to try what I had. So I came in the next day, I made them coffee out of my premium beans. They liked it. And the next day, Vadim called me. So he made me an offer. He said, listen, Ben, there is a proposal. You either work for us as a regular employee, or you rent your spot here and put your own coffee shop. I instantly knew that I'm going to rent. So I'm like, yeah, I'm renting. And I didn't know how to call it. I spent too much time thinking about it, but I ended up calling it the lab. Why lab? Because every guest can come with me and make their own cup of coffee and make their own experiment. It could be an AeroPress with an orange slice or B60 with fruits, anything. You can do a lot of experimentation in the coffee business and enjoy a really good cup of coffee more often. The more there is understandable, honest, good communications, the fewer questions arise about how people can get along. Everyone has one thing in mind, to live happily ever after. When we stormed into Yerevan, we found ourselves in the wildest weather. Even the locals were going crazy. The combination of colors, this stone, it was very cold, very strange, very gray. But I quickly got used to the colors and I started to like everything here after a day. The first impression is like you've been transferred back in time. Not in the bad sense, as everything is backwards. No, but on the contrary, it's a slight nostalgia for some great things preserved from the past in Yerevan. Human connection is one thing I liked most here. Yerevan feels like a small city even though it's a capital. Kids are going to Armenian school now and uh, they are very happy. Every time they come home, they say, oh, we're staying in Armenia and we want to learn Armenian language. It lifts my spirit and gives me the power to move on. Yeah.